Now I would like to show how we transfer video material from an HDV or DV player, such as, in my case, an HDV camera. To do this, we don't have to go via the source browser that we previously learnt about, but via the capture menu, which we find here. In order to use this function at all, we first need to create a device in the EDIUS settings. So that we can see these menus more clearly, I will, for now, rearrange my layout. And to start, I move the bin window down here, and so create more place for this window and the menus. Also, I will temporarily adjust my layout by closing the information palette, move the timeline's right border to the left, and also move the name field of the bin window to the bottom and adjust the vertical size of the bin, so that all the available width can be used for the preview window and the menus. And in so doing, I make it easier to see which menu I am going to work in. And now to transfer the recordings from, in this case, my HDV camera, I have to connect it to the computer with an IEEE 1394 cable. These are otherwise known as firewire cables. The next step I need to do is to create a preset for this camera in the EDIUS system settings under the settings menu. In the hardware section, we find the subsection device preset, which is empty for the minute. I click on new, and I am asked for a device name. In my case, it is my HDV camera, so I will call it HDV device. Now, I could choose a different icon or graphic for my device. It is not really important which graphic I use. I'll choose the camera symbol and continue with next. Now we arrive at the important settings. Here, I must decide how the camera is connected, and in my case, that is generic HDV. This is the correct connection when I wish to work with HDV, and it is, in effect, a straightforward FireWire interface. Now, I have to set my desired video format, and that depends on my player, obviously. In my case, this is 1440 by 1080 50i. Here, I can specify which codec I wish to use. If you are not certain which is the best option for your work, then it is probably best to choose Canopus HQ and leave it with the default settings. I continue with Next. As direct playback to an HDV device is not possible using this method, I will skip the output settings for my device and simply choose Next. And so now the settings for my device are finished, so we can click Apply and OK to confirm. Now the device has been set up, we can access it by using the Capture Select Input Device function. I'll confirm with OK. Now I am asked for the tape name, and once again I will use the default setting and confirm with OK. When everything has worked as desired, we can use the control elements here to control our external player. And when that has all worked, then just like on mine, you should see playback here. And I can then stop playback with the stop button. What could be interesting at this point is that if I often work with players, then I might prefer to not always have to access them via the select input device option but can have fast access to them via this input preset list. To edit this, I will once more go into Settings, System Settings, and here I right mouse click on the desired device and then assign input preset. In my case, input preset 1. After having done this, I have direct access here, HDV device, directly from the menu. In the scope of this quick tutorial, however, I won't delve too deep on this point. I will now make a short recording by starting playback and then with capture click, which can also be called up with the F9 key. After I have recorded what I need, I can stop the recording here. After this, 
my recorded video will be located in my bin in the directory that I was previously in, which in my case is the root directory. To get back to my previous EDIUS layout, I could of course move the windows back to their original positions manually. And in the view menu under palette, recall the info window. Or I can use the possibility that with the original layout via the window layout normal. 